Hi guys, so for week one you were required to read chapter three of technical communication and then our text called The Ethics of Expediency. An important point I wanna I wanna hit on with these readings is around this concept of ethics in technical writing because we're going to be hitting on it uh, again and again throughout the semester. And I really like this quote by Cicero um, here at the start of our text and it says, the stronger this faculty is, the more necessary it is for it to be combined with integrity and supreme wisdom. And if we bestow fluency of speech on persons devoid of those virtues, we shall not have made orators of them, but we shall have put weapons into the hands of madmen. And so here Cicero is... I'm sorry, I have some cats running around here. Um, here Cicero is saying that if we're teaching students uh, oratory or speech or rhetoric or writing, communication, if we're teaching people communication, we need to also teach them ethics of communication. Otherwise, we're putting weapons into the hands of madmen. And I think a great example of this is the memo that we see. It's a beautifully written memo. It's written uh, with all the correct memo formatting guidelines and genre conventions. It's, it's clear, it's concise, it's to the point. Um, but we soon discover and realize that it's a memo about vehicles for murdering, uh, Jewish people, right? And it's just, it's, it's actual, a real memo, but it's completely awful. It's devoid of any virtue. And most likely you're not going to be asked to produce these type of memos in wherever you work. Um, but you will have to deal with ethics with technical writing. Oftentimes, companies will ask you to um, engage in situations that are ethically gray, where you're not quite sure if you're supposed to or if you should or you should not. Um, a great example of this is the O-ring failure from the Space Shuttle Challenger and the explosion that happened in the 80s in the United States. So we had a space shuttle that blew up due to a faulty O-ring. It's a little plastic, little plastic O-ring, and um, <clears throat> it was it was tragic. Everyone died on the on the shuttle. Um, after seventy three seconds, it was in the air. It blew up. Okay. Um, it later came out that there was a memo written about this faulty O-ring from an engineer to the vice president of engineering. And he said, it is my honest and very real fear that if we do not take immediate action to dedicate a team to solve this problem with the field joint having the number one priority, then we stand in jeopardy of losing a flight along with the launch pad facility facilities. And so this guy, six months before the takeoff and subsequent explosion, knew that there was a problem with this, this uh, O-ring um, knew that there was a problem with this joint and no one listened to him. And so it's an important concept around ethics of, of uh, a company that you work for. How much do you simply believe what they say? How much do you base your information off of what the science shows you versus what people are telling you? Um, for example, here where they tried to cut some corners to get this thing launched where this one engineer said, no, look, Science is telling us that this is wrong. We should not. We should wait. We should not launch. Right. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. So uh, keep this in mind as you continue to go through your readings and through our different assignments. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be continually touching on ethics as we talk about memo about email this week, um, and then once we dive into uh, memo or not memo resume and cover letter next week. We'll continue to talk about ethics um, Yeah